as you'll see. What's more in focus? That for sure. High School Musical and Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. This, my friends, is the premiere of High School Musical and a special episode of Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. I have the whole thing on this bad boy. Um, if you didn't see the premiere of High School Musical, you were lame. Okay, it was a huge deal. How old was I when this came out? 2006? Bef I would have been 12 when this came out. Prime age. Prime age for High School Musical. I would like film myself popping this into my VHS, my VHS, my VCR. Um, but the last thing I tried to pop into my VCR that was a home like recorded tape, um, it cut it and ruined it. <laughs> want that to happen to this um which for those wondering that was um the hbo premiere of aaron's party come get it concert <laughs> it cut the it cut the tape i was very devastated luckily that had been released on dvd and i bought it um but this while i do own on dvd <laughs> This is like the episode and the premiere and I can't get rid of it. It's a little piece of time. <laughs> Welcome back to Every Disney Movie Ever. My name is Justin. I'm watching Every Disney Movie Ever. Today I'm going to talk about High School Musical. How am I already at High School Musical? <laughs> That's like... Ugh. Oh, I have to change the thing. Totally has to be red. <sighs> High School Musical is a 2006 Disney Channel original movie. It's directed by the one, the only Kenny Ortega. Cinematography by Gordon Lonsdale. Editing by Seth Flan. Music by David Lawrence. And it's written by Peter Barsaccini. The film stars Zac Efron as Troy, Vanessa Hudgens as Gabriella, Ashley Tisdale as Sharpay, Lucas Grabeel as Ryan, Corbin Blue as Chad, and Monique Coleman as Taylor. After successful musical episodes of Even Stevens and That's So Raven, Disney execs pushed for a musical movie, and that's what they got. They shot at the famous East High School in Utah. The film has a 65% on Rotten Tomatoes. It was the highest TV premiere at the time. It has two sequels. It has a spin-off show on Disney Plus and the cast did a stage tour. Kenny Ortega just has the touch. I don't know what it is. He just has this magical ability to take something that could be like really, really cheesy and give it just enough like heart and spark and sweetness and depth that you can look past a lot of the cheese and just love the thing. Like Julie and the Phantoms. So good, okay? So good, I'm disappointed we're not getting a season two, don't talk to me about it, okay? But this is what I'm talking about, Kenny Ortega, and he's been a choreographer on everything. Is choreo- like, Dirty Dancing? Hello? Hello? Like, he just... So talented, so talented. The cinematography was pretty high quality for a DCOM, especially, I know, I've said it a few times, I think, at this point, but the DCOM cinematography quality has been, like, up and down and up and down. You can tell which ones they put more money into versus the ones they didn't put more money into. And this one was definitely one that they put more money into because um, compared to some of the others around the same time, this one is very well done. I loved the cutting on action. I think that was really fabulous. They did a great job doing that. And then also I think this is really well paced. I don't think this has any parts that are particularly really unnecessary. I think everything is really fun. I think it flows. I think it moves really quickly. And uh, the editing in my opinion is. Mixing Zach's voice with Drew Seeley's voice is probably the biggest faux pas that this movie did. It's really unforgivable, especially because Zach's voice is so good in the sequels and then in future musicals he did. Um, but we love, I feel bad because I love Drew Seeley. I think Drew Seeley is very talented. Um, and I feel bad that he was like mixed with Zach and uh, was never really like super given the credit until he, he's the one that did the tour with the cast. He did Troy, um, I'm pretty sure, because I think Zach was like going to film Pretty sure. Anyway, uh, 
Besides that, the music is obviously great. I have a really hot take. I, the first one's music is not my favorite of the trilogy. And my least favorite song is probably um, Vanessa's song. What do you mean? When There Was Me and You? What the, name, what, what the heck is the name of that song? And then my, my second least favorite is a hot take. I don't like Get Your Head in the Game. It drives me insane. I don't know what it is about that song, but it drives me nuts. So... Start of something new, bop to the top, um, what I've been looking for, both versions, uh, all really good in my opinion. Breaking free, obviously, classic. Also, the cast kind of like takes a big fat dump on the song that was only on the album. Um, Can't Take My Eyes Off of You, I think is the name of the song, but I love that song. <laughs> This song is so good um, and is a big fat bop. So I hate that the cast kind of takes a dump on that song um, that I think they sang during the concert. And it was only on the album and not in the movie. But I can't take my eyes off of you. Oh, oh. no, I feel the same way too. Yeah, I can't take my eyes off of you. I can't take my eyes. It's a good song. Darbus is ruthless. Zero warnings about the phones, just takes them and gives them all detention. I would have sobbed. I never got detention in my life. I, that would have been detrimental to my mental health. Um, and then there's this whole thing that went around a while ago. Sharpay is the villain, but people were like, no, Sharpay isn't the villain. Troy and Gabrielle are the villains. It was this huge thing. Here's my opinion. First of all, the worst people in this movie for a huge chunk of it are Chad and Taylor. Chad and Taylor are unforgivable for a huge chunk of this movie. What horrible friends. They come around, they realize what they've done, they learn their lesson, which is fabulous. They realize that they're being bad friends. That is huge, we love it. Sharpay. I see how Sharpay would be upset, why she'd be upset, this, that, and the other thing, 100%. She doesn't have to be mean. She doesn't have to be mean and she doesn't have to try and sabotage them. She can just, I mean, she's been the lead in how many school productions? I think she can bank on the fact that she's probably gonna at least be a very prominent character, okay? She's obviously very talented and like has some seniority there, is in the drama club presidency and all that kind of stuff. So oh, captains, whatever they call it. So, does Sharpay have to be an absolute menace about it? No. Do I see where she's coming from? 100%. I get it. These people who have never like really invested in it are coming in. But in my experience, theater when I was in high school was the most open and accepting place, at least where I was in theater. I remember some new kids coming to school and I, like, I worked in the office and I saw how nervous they were and I was like, hey, if you have any interest, come join drama club and theater because we just, we welcome everybody with open arms. Like just, is there drama? Of course there is, it's theater <laughs> and it's high school. There's gonna be drama, but no matter what, it is a super exciting place. And a lot of those kids came and became like huge parts of the drama department and it was amazing. So like for sure pay to be like that fits in line with Chad and Taylor saying like, no, everyone has to stay in their lane when that's just garbage. So I think all three of them are villains in different ways. Just saying. Troy, I think a huge reason that I love Troy so much is you can see how genuine and sweet he is in all these moments with other people. And then like the pressure that he's under from his family, his friends, this new like himself, what he wants to do and this reputation he feels he has to uphold and all that kind of stuff. Um, and I, you know how I am about I want kids to be kids and be able to do what they want to do so badly. So when I see this pressure, it really makes me just be like, no, ah, let him do what he wants. Try, he's a child. <laughs> so, yeah. Otherwise, writing wise, this is all kind of, you know, the villain thing had to do with that, whatever. I think this is pretty well written, okay? I know this was like, this was the top movie premiere of the time. It was a huge deal. It became the biggest Disney Channel original movie until High School Musical 2. And then I think the only thing that knocked it out of its place was the Teen Beach movies, <laughs> which were musicals and had Ross Lynch and similar vibes. So 
this obviously I think surpassed what Disney Channel thought they could do and all that kind of stuff. And I think it's pretty well written for what it is. Uh, you know, I might be a little nostalgic. I might have, you know, be a little biased because I genuinely grew up with this movie. Um, when I went to watch this on Disney Plus, um, put myself on blast here, it said continue watching. <laughs> so um, I must have watched this semi recently or started it semi recently. So that's hilarious. Um, love that for me. Anyway, I think it's pretty well written. I have no complaints besides Taylor and Chad being the worst friends of all time for a good stand there. <laughs> wow, do they all look so little. I remember thinking they all look so grown up when I watched this when I was 12 and now I'm watching it and I'm like, oh my God, they're all babies. <laughs> they're all so small. They're just little babies. I can't imagine what they went through getting that famous that fast insane and then i what i love is that there are actors in disney channel original movies that you're like oh okay you're probably gonna do this and like stick with like maybe children's tv and then there are actors you watch on the disney channel that you're like oh you're really talented and really understand becoming a character and just reacting and all that kind of stuff you know like kimberly j brown I'm really surprised she didn't go off and do more because her performance in Quince and the Halloween Town movies, insane, insane. So in this, I really like, I hate to say it, but Zac Efron is the standout, like, and not because he's so cute, but because just the little things he does, his face, when his friends come up to talk to him and what he thinks is his secret place. And it's never mentioned that like, you know, like in that moment is like, they don't go, yeah, we know about your secret place. It's just, they show up to talk to him. And you already know that he has said, this is like his secret place where he goes to like be alone and they show up and his reaction is like, you can see it on his face is, oh my God, how do they know about this place? As they walk up to him, he's so confused how they could be up there. Then a funny gag, I'm pretty sure Zach carries through all three movies is he always checks his wrist and there's no watch on his wrist. And that's just like a funny gag. Uh, it makes me giggle every time in each movie that he checks his wrist and there's no watch on it. And it, it's silly, but it's stuff like that. And so many of Zach's reactions that make me like, oh, he's an actor. Like he is very good at acting, will go far in acting. Like, yeah, okay, he's got a pretty face and that's gonna take him far, I'm sure. But that's, I mean, it's only a part of it. And Vanessa is okay. I think she's gotten better. And now she's like, you know, overcome a bunch of stuff and is in Tick Tick Boom and stuff like that. So I feel like she did well in that kind of stuff. Um, and then, I'll leave it at that. <laughs> the fashion, you guys, everyone in this movie had to be wearing what was totally cool at the time. Every main character in this movie was wearing what was totally cool at the time. Vanessa's belt over her jeans. Troy's outfits were fine, pretty. <sighs> Sharpay. <laughs> Sharpay, what were those? I can't, I can't. <sighs> I love this movie, okay? I grew up with it. I recorded the frickin' premiere, okay, guys? Like, I, I genuinely love this movie. I think it's great. Um, is it the best ever? No, but I say this all the time. It's a really good movie. It's entertaining. It's fun. It's sweet. It's heartwarming. It's a little romancy. It's like a musical. What's not to like? I love another example of Zach being just is at the very beginning, he's forced to go to this teen party, right? At the New Year's Eve, whatever. And he's like yawning before he gets picked to sing. And I think that's just like, who told him to yawn? Did Kenny tell him to yawn or did he naturally yawn? I don't know, but it's so good. Also, there are so many moments in this movie where people just take off a jacket for no reason. So like in the first song, sort of something new, Zach removes a jacket and then in Breaking Free, Vanessa removes a jacket. And I'm pretty sure in a couple other things, people remove jackets, it's just really random, I don't understand. Also a little ad lib moment when they're like in 
Uh, they're back to school. It's the first scene in Darbus's room for homeroom. Uh, Troy is telling Chad and um, Jason a story, and he says, All I remember is like pink jelly. And then she like interrupts them, and that makes me laugh. I have no idea what the story is, but it is hilarious to me. And then when Zach sings on Zach, when Troy sings on Gabriella's balcony, when it's just Zach's voice and not mixed with Drew is when he sounds best, which is why I'm happy they switched to just Zach in the sequels. And then I just love this movie. It's genuinely so good. I will never hate it. <laughs> it's so good. It's just fun and beautiful and music's good. And yeah, okay, that's everything I have for High School Musical. My final rating is seven crescent moons. <laughs> Our total movie count is. Parents that's salt and cry count are still the same. If you want to keep up with the movie watching when follow me on Instagram, Twitter, you'll find out movie watching when I put up videos every Monday and Friday and sometimes Wednesday. Join Patreon. Uh, I have a tier starting at just one dollar. You can get every video a week early and a coupon code for merch. And then tiers go up from there and have a bunch of other benefits. Buy merch. Merch is great. Merch is grand. It's fabulous. It's beautiful. Go get it. Okay. Great. Until next time, comment, subscribe, and I'm in charge of your life. You are studio, and don't be. I'm gonna learn so lesson. Honestly, don't be Sharpay, Chad, or Taylor about it for a good chunk of this movie. Living in my own world, didn't understand. How anything can happen when you take a chance. I never believed in what I couldn't see. I never opened my heart, oh, to all the possibilities. Mm, I know. Now something has changed, never felt this way, I know it for real, this could be the start of something new, feels so right to be here with you, oh. Yeah. Mm. He's like, I'm Does they have our dually?